Yamaha launched the EX line, it was the first fiberglass PWC in the rec light category. It came in the EX, EX Sport, and EX Deluxe models. This is the EXR. So what makes this different other than the flashy colors, which look pretty boss? Well, two things. First is the engine. Every EX here had the TR1 engine. It's a great engine. This one has a TR1 HO, high output. So it's 10% more powerful. And the EXR also has a Nano XL2 hull, which saves 60 pounds over any other EX. So you've got 10% more power, 60 pounds lighter, but that adds up. If you multiply and then carry the three, that means it's a lot of fun. Feels like it's in permanent sport mode. It's so much fun, going in a straight line is hard to do. But I was able to eventually take my finger off the throttle to check out some of the details. The one-piece seat comes off easily, and you have good access to the engine for maintenance and checks. You've also got dedicated storage for your safety gear. Off the swim platform is a fairly deep-reaching reboarding step. and. Just under the handlebars is a storage compartment large enough for phone, wallet, and hat. Now obviously you can get wet if you want, but this is really dry for a small PWC. Ha! Even smashes through waves. Dry. Of course, Having the ride system means you can stop almost on a dime. A dime as far as water is concerned. I was doing 40 miles an hour there and I stopped super quick. Stopping is important, but ultimately this is a go machine. And with a top speed just shy of 50 miles per hour, with a larger than average rider mind you, and happily cruising anywhere between 30 and 35 miles per hour, the TR1 HO's increased power over its EX cousins is apparent and appreciated. The newest EX on the block? This is also the coolest. Mm -hmm.